majestic, massive, muscular. Mastiffs are among some of the oldest breeds known to humans. They feature in legend as well as recorded history and were among the first canines to accompany humans on their migrations across the globe. Mastiffs have been used as guard dogs, war dogs, and fighting dogs throughout the ages. The Mastiff family is full of powerful breeds, each with its own unique personality. Today, they come from all over the world, and although they are similar to each other in many ways, each has subtle differences due to where it originated and the purpose it was bred for. In this video, we've listed 10 of them that are the most powerful and most similar to their ancient ancestors. Number 10. Tibetan Mastiff the breed is so ancient, and Tibet has always been so isolated that it's almost impossible to say how or when Tibetan Mastiffs came to be. We know that for millennia, they were the mighty guardians of the Himalayas, and it's thought that they're the progenitor of all modern Mastiffs. It's impossible to discuss this breed without leaning on words like powerful, muscular, massive, and substantial. And yet, Tibetan Mastiffs are quite light-footed and will meet a perceived threat with surprising agility. Number 9. Spanish Mastiff the Spanish Mastiff is a very old breed. It appeared on the Iberian Peninsula before the Roman invasion, brought by the Greeks and Phoenicians over 2,000 years ago. The first mentions of a Mastiff from the region appears in writings by Virgil dated from around 30 AD. The Spanish Mastiff is a dog of great size, well-balanced, very powerful, and muscular. He has a massive head and a body covered with a medium-length coat. Rustic, affectionate, kind, and noble, he's very determined when facing dangerous animals and in front of strangers, especially when he has the opportunity to defend and protect farms or cattle. Number 8. Bull Mastiff The Bull Mastiff's nickname is the Gamekeeper's Knight's Dog, and this pretty much sums up the breed's early history. During the mid to late 19th century, the vast country estates and game preserves of the English aristocracy were the irresistible targets of poachers. Gamekeepers responded by breeding dogs big, swift, and brave enough to pursue and pin a man prowling the grounds in the dead of night. Eventually, they hit upon just the right combination of breeding stock by crossing Mastiffs to Bulldogs at a ratio of 60% Mastiff and 40% Bulldog. The new breed was smart enough to work on command, tractable enough to hold but not maul a poacher, and big enough to scare the bejesus out of any intruder. Number 7. Bordeaux Mastiff the Dog de Bordeaux is one of the most ancient French breeds. He's a very powerful dog with a very muscular body, yet retaining a harmonious general outline. A massive head with proper proportions and features is an important characteristic of the breed. The prevailing origin tale has it that the dog's ancestors were introduced to France, then called Gaul, by Julius Caesar's conquering legions in the 1st century BC. These immense mastiff types were utilized by the Romans as both war dogs and ferocious gladiators. During the breed's long history, dogs outlived their usefulness as fighting dogs and came to be employed at various times as hunters, drafters, and garters. Number 6. English Mastiff For the uninitiated, a face-to-face -face encounter with these black mast giants can be startling. The British Mastiff type, the breed we know as the Mastiff, is similarly ancient breed. When Julius Caesar led an invasion of Britain in 55 BC, he was impressed by the Mastiffs who helped defend the island against his legions and made note of it in his campaign journal. The Mastiff came into focus in medieval England, used as big game hunters, nighttime guardians of estates, and war dogs. In the Canterbury Tales, Chaucer calls them a launce, a French breed name, and says they were as great as any steer to hunt at the lion or the deer. Number 5. Italian Mastiff the Cane Corzo belongs to a subcategory of working breeds called Molossus dogs, named for the Molossi, an ancient Greek tribe thought to have bred giant, big-boned guardian dogs of the Mastiff type. At the height of the Roman Empire's power, the legion that subdued and occupied the Greek islands brought Molossus back to Italy and bred them to native Italian breeds. At nearly 28 inches at the shoulder, and often weighing more than 100 pounds, with a large head, alert expression, and muscles rippling beneath their short, stiff coat, Corsi are at a glance intimidating creatures. Their imposing appearance is their first line of defense against intruders. Number 4. Canary Mastiff A moderately large-sized molossoid with a rectilinear profile and black mask, the Perro de Presa Canario is robust and well-proportioned. With a low, deep bark, he has a balanced temperament and is very self-confident. There are numerous books written by historians concerning the development of the known Perro de Presa Canario. Documentation of the original holding dogs date back to the 15th and 16th centuries. 
Following the conquest of the Canary Islands, its theorized dogs of great size may have existed or were brought there by the Spanish conquistadors or possibly both. What is known was the function for which these dogs were developed, guarding farms, working cattle, and the extermination of wild or stray dogs. Number 3. Japanese Mastiff This breed is the largest of all Japanese dog breeds. They're also known as the Tosa Cat, Tosa Inu, and Japanese Fighting Dog. The Tosa breed was produced as a hybrid of Shikoku Ken and Western breeds after European and Western traders brought their Mastiff-type fighting dogs with them. Tosa was named after the region where they were bred and are also called Japanese Mastiffs, for they are known for their extreme courage and tenacious athletic abilities in the fighting arenas of Japan. Tosa is a true gladiator, just like his Mastiff ancestors. In Japan, Tosas are the canine equivalent of sumo wrestlers and are treated with great honor and ceremony. Number 2. South African Mastiff There's a no-frills, no-nonsense quality to this sleek-coated Avenger, who might stand as high as 27 inches at the shoulder and weigh as much as you do. A broad and blocky head, powerful jaws, and thick muscles from neck to rump mark it as a descendant of the ancient Malozer dog family, the foundation of today's Mastiff-type breeds. In motion, the Borbel just might be the most agile of all Mastiff types. Boer, a Dutch word meaning farmer, was the name given to Dutch, German, and Huguenot settlers of South Africa who began arriving in the mid-1600s. They brought along large guarding dogs, bull types, and mastiff types among them. The interbreeding of these and other European bloodlines in South Africa resulted in something called the Boer Dog, which was used by Boer settlers as a big game hunter and protector. Number 1. Neapolitan Mastiff the Neapolitan Mastiff is not the strongest on this list, but he has more of the same characteristics as his ancient Mastiff predecessors. He's a heavy-boned, massive, awe-inspiring dog bred for use as a guard dog and defender of owner and property. If Mastinos look like strange visitors from antiquity, it's because that's exactly what they are. The breed might go back as far as 700 BC, with artifacts from several ancient civilizations depicting Mastino-like canines. In the Roman Empire, they found employment as war dogs, gladiators, and guardians whose bestial looks and huge frame were calculated to throw the fear of Jove into their adversaries. Today, those attributes are still terrifying enough to send an ill-willed intruder running for the hills. That concludes our video of the 10 most powerful Mastiff dog breeds that are most similar to their ancient ancestors. Which one of these dogs did you like the most? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, then subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video arrives. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.